That was exciting. <clears throat> Just about ran into a star. Oh. Got to get away from the star now. Had my throttle at uh, some non-zero position and I was doing something else and I jumped and, and I was looking at what you typed and I didn't see it. I was like, ah. Where's this destination at? It's probably behind the star. Nah, no biggie. Not the first time it's happened. I don't think I've ever been that close to a star, though. I was way <laughs> behind the thing. So you already stopped your stream? I commented, and, uh, but you didn't see it. At least before I popped. Did you uh, do that community go uh, the rare goods to get the serious permit and stuff? Ended up being in the 25th percentile. That was cool. We did, only did 670 something tons of cargo. But I made a uh, hundred million dollars. So. And we got one haul in. It's too bad because the uh, five million, five point six million uh, uh, in each time. That was pretty good. I was hoping to get a uh, thousand tons, but. It is just so boring. <laughs> so boring, especially when you got to do eight hops or so. However, I mean, it'll be nice to get one of them drives. I don't know how they're going to work that, but I'd love to have one in this very ship, this ASP. Yeah. I'll let you know how it works out. I haven't done any engineering at all. I've got Farseer uh, open, but I don't have any. I didn't at the time. I didn't have any of the materials. I don't have to figure now what what I need. I don't know if it was grid resistors or some type of wake echoes. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and see. I have some of that stuff, but. I don't know if it's the right stuff. I don't know how expensive these relics are going to be either. That's right. Oh. I wasn't going to stream, but I decided if I'm going to play, I might as well stream. I don't know how that's going to work. <clears throat> well, the thing I liked about that, it didn't matter uh, really how big a ship you had above a certain point, you know, I mean, or how engineered it was other than being able to get there quicker, but everybody had a chance in that one. Unlike the combat ones and stuff, unless you, you know, are really good at combat, you know, it's hard to get in the top tiers. watching a YouTuber and he was walking through how to get all the materials at one spot except uh, one item I think it was only done by mining but 
I don't know, I, I would think a lot of that stuff would be available through the trainers. I don't know how it works. I know I'll rapidly run out of money. I've only got 200 million, or almost 200 million. We're done screen. See my hull's down to 99 from that star. That was annoying. Doesn't matter <laughs> if I make it to the station. I'm going to uh, repair anyway, assuming they've got repair stuff. Had to Google uh, what uh, port it was at. I think I've actually been there before. I'm not sure. I had a heat sink. I should have used it. I've never used a heat sink on purpose before. Right. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I. This is the very first time I've attempted to uh, do anything like this. But I figured I didn't have a plan, plan for tonight, so I thought I'd just go check it out. I did buy an SRV. I, I plan on uh, landing somewhere, and uh, I've never done a planetary landing on a body without a pad before. So you know, that ought to be, that'll be fun. I'll have to learn how to do that. What's the name of this thing? Let me, let me honk the system so I can get a map. Maybe. Three light seconds. I wonder if in open the gankers hang out uh, around this guy, like to do around Felicity Farsi or. those pesky thrusters again for landing. Luckily I've got them with the key bindings written down. I don't know where a good place to go. Maybe Jameson, uh, the Jameson crash site might be a good place for the first time because I've never been there either. And I suspect I'll have to go there sometime to do something but I don't know anything about Overstaying Gaming. Welcome. Nice to see you. How's it going tonight? Heading to uh, buy some relics to open that engineer guy.
I haven't done any engineering, but I thought I'd start gathering some of the materials. I well, appreciate it. You're more than welcome to pop in anytime you like. It's not real exciting. I do pretty much the same thing everybody else does, but uh, in a more boring fashion. Letho is a, a streamer also. He just ended his stream. And Letho, Clover Stain Gaming is a, is a uh, streamer. <laughs> so, y'all say, y'all say hello. Well, I appreciate it. No, I, I learn a lot. That's how I learn. I, I, I watch other streamers, you know, on how they play and ask them questions a lot of times if they're not super busy. And, uh, learned a whole lot of things from people. Some, someday I'll, I, I, I have no intention of ever being a big time streamer. But when I was doing my Road to Riches, some guy came in and asked me about how to use the FSS and stuff and how to use the Road to Riches uh, website, and I explained it to him, you know, as best I could. And then sent him off to my YouTube channel, because I have a video that talks specifically about that. And yes, I used a computer to land. And I do not fly with flight assist off yet. <laughs> well, I can't even tell which end of the uh, station has the slot sometimes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I have more followers on uh, YouTube than I have, uh, but I've been on there 10, 11, 12, whatever years. But uh, and my Elite Dangerous videos are far more popular than my drum videos and stuff. Yes, you should. If you have something to share and educate people, you definitely should do that. I plan on doing a lot more of that once I, I learn more stuff. What kind of tutorials? I mean, what type of subject? Excellent. I know nothing about mining. I've watched uh, paint dry with people mining sometimes, but you know, you got to do it to get some of the materials, I believe. So, you're gonna go kill some pirates? Okay. I don't know how long I'll be streaming tonight, but uh, you're more than welcome to, to come back if I'm on. Appreciate you dropping by, Leo. I did pretty good in the um, community goal that just ended. <clears throat> I ended up in the 25th percentile. So, there's that. Yeah, I'm just real happy about that. I got distracted while I was hopping, talking to Leo, and got too close to a star there. That's why I've got some damage. I should check my modules, why? I need to um, do this real quick, just to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fix that paint, too. Yeah. I uh, had ended up... How much did you end up... Um, cargo did you end up carrying to get in the top ten? I got all excited when it opened up. I grabbed my anaconda and threw in a bunch of cargo racks in there. And uh, went to get the, the uh, lavy and brandy. And I could only get 48 at a time. So I ended up using my python after that trip. But uh, python had a little bit less jump range than my anaconda. So it, it was like 8 jumps instead of 7. Between them and the Ashby City. So... But that was okay. 5.6 million profit each time, too, so I can't complain. I'd, I'd do that all day. It's boring as hell, but I'd do it. 
I had 674, 78 uh, tons. Oh, the combat CG. Yeah. Well, I made that too. I mean, I don't, I don't remember what tier I was in, but I, uh, I got my uh, permit and all that you know, stuff. So I was happy. I'm not a very good combat person yet, so I'd like to be though. I guess this is in. Is this, do I do this in commodities? Ah, all oh, those aren't too bad. Is there a limit on how many? Let's see. To open him up, how many did he need? Three? I'm trying to open up this engineer. Um, why won't it move? Why won't it do that? It won't work. weird. Let me get out of that. Try that again. There. Huh. That was weird. This guy here, I think. Yeah, I need soon till relics. I mean, got to give him three. Okay. I don't think anybody else wants them, so... Yeah, I, I noticed that. <laughs> Well, this is easy. That's, I, mean, I went the meta alloys for uh, Felicity Farseer. I went to some planetary based place and bought them or bought it. I only needed one. So, well, I'm in solo, so. <laughs> I was talking to Leo and I said, I wonder if Gankers hang out around, uh, if the pirates of Gankers hang around uh, this engineer in the open. I'm not going to find out. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't know if I can use them anywhere else. But... All right. Now. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I brought a cargo rack. Not a very big cargo rack. So. And where's this guy at? I know he's on the map. Con? Okay, that's easy. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I, I, I tried to fight one of those NPC uh, pirates once. It didn't end well. I ended up getting... I ran away. So, but I, I did get away. Because I, I had already targeted something, so I was able to jump as soon as the FSD could charge. But he was shooting the crap out of me. And I, and I was in a... Uh, it was the early days. I wasn't in my asp, so on on this vessel, I use usually use gimbaled anyway, because um, I can't aim or to darn. This vessel has you know they're all gimbaled. I was probably I was probably in uh, my chieftain. And I probably and I probably had all beam lasers. I don't remember. I, I've changed it around so much. I did try uh, switching it up to uh, multi cannons for a while, and it, I don't know. but I did buy some AX multi cannons specifically for a Thargoid scout someday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my revenge on. a little ways out. Holy cow, that's a long way. I have nothing better to do, I guess. It's only 16 jumps.
Oh, you were? I'm, I'd have seen you doing that because I, I, I drop in on a lot of people. Depends on what time of day, but um, I don't know. You guys going to do any more combat or bounty hunting or anything? Massacre missions? Someday? I'm sure you will. I mean, someday that I can wing up with y'all again. I was watching some of these gankers, though, and not just them, but some other people, and they were just cutting down ships, like, in, I don't know, 15 seconds or less. Ah. I'll be Colonia. I gotta go there, too, someday. Guardian Lance... Fighter. Oh, that's a that's a, a special. Yeah, okay, that'd be cool. Now the way, dude. I got a couple of ships that were home fighter bays. I haven't I haven't acquired any yet. Like today is today's the first day I bought a. Uh, SRV, and I like telling Leo I got to go practice landing on a planet and driving it around. That sounds like fun if I can do it. No, 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 I have not. Is there a tutorial for that? A training tutorial? I did the uh, combat ones and stuff. I shall. Why is it saying the destination target is obscured? Oh, is that a planet there? What are, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that planet being right in the middle? Yeah, there's a dark planet there, see? What are the odds of that? Whee. It's hard enough to see anything with this bright light over here in my face, but barely see the dark circle there. It's cool. Okay. I'll, I'll do that certainly before I uh, end up wrecking the SRV. I only bought one because I don't have a lot of space in this vessel. But I want to do some exploration and probably end up it'll probably end up being in this vessel in my ass. But We'll see. Depends on how good of drives I can get and stuff. And get the jump ranges up on the other ships, too. Yeah. I did the, uh, <clears throat> on the, um, main menu thing, I did the, uh, combat ones. That didn't seem right though, because it was, wasn't your own ship, so you know, I want to get used to flying my own ship. But I, for combat, I definitely have got to learn how to fly with F.A. off, because you can do so much more cool stuff, you know, doing that. Like boosting, turn F.A. off, and flip over and stuff. I don't think I, uh, th th there's two of them, and there's a simple, no, there was, one, there was one that was hard, it was much harder, 
and I ended up passing it because I, I finally learned some throttle and pip control because I had a habit of just pushing the throttle to uh, no I play with a HOTUS but it would usually just have th the throttle all the way on and I realized I was like I can't turn <laughs> I didn't do the challenges, I don't think. But there was a, there was a, I know I did the basic and I'm pretty sure I did the advanced. I like, I like the HOTUS, the concept of the HOTUS and stuff. It's, my, I tell you, from that, uh, all that fighting and stuff that we did, not just you, I and everyone, but during the uh, event, I squeezed my trigger finger so hard on this thing so often, my finger is still tender. Oh, my nose did this What am I doing? But I, I'm so getting old and no meat left on my fingers and stuff, hardly. It's, uh, everything hurts. Sucks to get old. Well, not stiff, it was uh, sore, tender. Because I get excited when I'm using those beam lasers and stuff, and I just got the trigger press constantly and stuff. And I would uh, just be a squeeze in that thing way harder than I needed to. I use a, uh, my son had his, had possession of a T-Flight, uh, HOTUS, which, uh, he's pseudo-loaned to me. Um, he's got Elite Dangerous also, and that he doesn't really like it as much as I do. But I would like to get him, he wants to do some PvP sometime. I told him, well, you better get out of the Pilots Association and, and get some real ships then. I got only 12. I'm doing them so slow. <laughs> the bad thing is I have to hop back eventually. I'm just I'm just going there to uh, open him up. I'm not going to go get him to do anything yet because I don't have. I'm sure I don't have the materials he needs. I don't know. I don't know what he needs. So I'll have to find out. <clears throat> I know nothing about engineering. I just watch people do it and they're. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> but it's an aspect that you know, don't want to get left in the dust behind all the other people and have the capabilities that they have and you're going to have to do it. It's lousy. It's true. Yeah. My hardest thing was to find a station and the station that I call home it, was, it really is not very good I mean it doesn't have the good outfitting or uh, stuff there's a station in that system that has pretty good outfitting so I, I used to do a bunch of courier missions from there to another nearby system so I just ended up you know, putting all my ships there not super attached to it This can be a good start to scoop.
Yeah. Well, I guess you could uh, store, you know, sometimes I, if I want to change chips and I'm far away, I'll just have it transferred there instead of going to get it. <laughs> I understood it. I haven't done any real fighting in my ass, but people are going, people are going, you, your ass was armed? And I'm like, yeah, it's armed. Why have I, I've heard that station before, on that system before. What's there? Not today, buddy. Yep. Maybe that, yeah, that's it, that's it. That's when I when I did some passenger missions. I went there because somebody uh, on YouTube or something recommended that, and I had uh, loaded my Python up with some passenger cabins, and I went there and did a couple of missions just to check out how to do it. Right. I don't understand the no shields bit, but unless you just need the room, I, I don't feel real comfortable not having shields, but frankly shields don't seem to do anything except in combat, I don't know, but unless you bump something, now less weight. <laughs> I almost... I almost took my anaconda into the combat thing because uh, I just bought it. And I was like, well, I, don't, I should take my anaconda in there. But then I saw all those gankers and everybody, and I'm, and I'm like thinking, you know, people target anacondas. So, I guess I won't do that. Good morning, uh, Morton. Welcome. Glad you're here. Oh, people just pop in. Didn't expect that. I'm just doing a late stream to go activate this engineer. And Thought if I'm going to play and do it, I might as well uh, stream it. Oh, good morning. It's uh, 11.21 p.m. here. I think I have about eight more jumps. Oh, 
probably get interdicted again along the way. Yeah, I was thinking the Jameson Craft site, after I, you know, that'd be a good place to practice my uh, SRV driving. After I get go through the tutorial and stuff. Terrain unsuitable mostly. There's got to be places to do it though. Everybody goes there. Right. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the location. I don't know, but I'll be in. I know I'll be in something like my probably this asp, but uh, might be my python. I don't know. Most likely the asp. No. I don't believe so. I've been uh, into the system and stuff around there. That's in Seoul, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that's it. That's I watched a YouTuber uh, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, he has a video of him. The, the materials are just lying around, right? Because, you know, it seems like, yeah, because I was like, where's the landing pads? <laughs> right, right. See, it's people like you that come in the chat that, that you know, uh, are very informative to people like me that don't know stuff. I watch a lot of YouTube and other streamers. You drive around the track to reset it, you don't have to exit and re-enter. Right. <clears throat> That'll be fun. Fun to do. But I have to learn to drive that SRV first before I, I stream this stuff. I don't want to embarrass myself too badly and, you know. I don't know what you have to do at the Jameson crash site, but uh, I'll figure it out. Scan the four beacons and back to the main menu, then scan them again. Is that what you do? Next jump, I'm here. Oh, Lieutenant Rock, or LT Rock, thank you for the follow. I'm ex-military, so that looked like Lieutenant Rock to me. Oh, seven back at you. Thanks for uh, hopping in the stream. We're in the middle of uh, Clover uh, educating me on uh, 
getting some of the materials for uh, engineers or, or I guess that's what it is. I've never done any engineering, so I'm on my way right now to deliver some relics to this engineer to open him up. <laughs> Eternal grind. Let me get away from the star a little bit. See where this guy's at. He should already. I should have already targeted him. I thought I did. Thought I had him targeted. What system? He be. Hmm. Oh, it's, I bet it's 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 on the planet, isn't it? I have to do. I have to map the planet. Oh, darn it! Sat here too long. challenging. Uh, now, <clears throat> what was that? Was that the fifth planet? He's just going to do it again if I don't get it going. My question is, do I need to map, do I need to map the uh, planet to find out where he's at? Does it say engineer? <laughs> no, I think we'll get there. That's what I got. I've got this set. That's where I'm going. I just don't know what station he's at. Well, don't do I have to be in orbit first? Long sight base. Okay. Been done a planetary landing in a while. Yeah, I know that.
<laughs> All right, well, I really appreciate you coming in and, uh, you know, edu educating me here. <clears throat> Been really nice having somebody to talk to. All right, appreciate it. You're more than welcome to anytime. I'm sorry if I, uh, Lieutenant Rock, if you're still here, if I uh, don't say a lot. I'm not really, I haven't done many planetary landings, so I'm going to concentrate here a little bit and hopefully I get uh, out of the glide close enough. One guy, and he just comes in straight. He just goes straight down at him instead of the, this business. Go a little faster here. <laughs> Hell's elevator. You, once I get landed, I am going to have to take a quick biological break. <laughs> uh, I did not plan on doing all of this tonight. I was just going to go uh, went to the other system to get some uh, a uh, SRV for this. I'm way far out. But, um, get an SRV and then I, I said what's it going to take to open that other engineer and then I found out where I have to buy the relics at and I went there and got them then might as well go ahead and deliver them to him and get this out of the way forever to get to the guy and get to this thing. almost tempted just to go back up and come back down.
Yeah, 216,000 meters. Uh, 10 minutes travel time. I'm so embarrassed. Usually I, uh, <clears throat> I nail it. I mean, this is the first time I've had to do this in a long time. Yeah, going back up and coming down. But do I have to go up? Can I just get it going and then just, uh... I did throttle up. So what's to stop me from just turning back and aiming at the gun? I'm just, what's it gonna do? Oh, that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> I wanted to see what it would do. Yeah. I'll let it cool down and I'll do that again. I just won't aim so low. Oh, it's closer though. <laughs> it's an altitude. I think this would be far enough. Let's find out. If not, Where's that? I do not see it. Oh. This could work. And so I should go on up to orbit, you think? Maybe I'll die. <laughs> if I die, it's, it's worth it. It's a learning experience. Hope it lets me drop it out at the right time. I'm good. That's much better. Come straight down on the thing. Evidently, there's a button on my joystick, <clears throat> my throttle assembly to, to boost. I didn't know, I didn't bind that, but maybe a default thing. I didn't know that because I bumped it and it boosted. Look at this boost speed. Wow. That's 
creepy sounding. I'd like to stop, that's for sure. Slow down. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Gravity, huh? <laughs> was funny though I guess I'm close enough <laughs> I was like why aren't I stopping it would have stopped eventually but it kept me going the same direction it was almost like flight assist off I was like wow yeah I got, a lot, got some hull left I don't know how fast I'm going to have to clip that. I don't know how fast I hit the ground, though. <laughs> it's funny. Like I said, I was willing to die anyway. It's okay. Hey, there's my shields. Is there going to be a Kirk Crater? That's my name. Now watch, they won't have repair facilities here. <laughs> oh, that says it does. Oh, I've had bigger expenses than that. Operation complete. Commence system shutdown. Welcome, Commander. <laughs> that was pretty good. Definitely wouldn't like to clip that. Maybe not. That's embarrassing too, but it was fun. So, did I go to Engineer's Workshop to give that to him? Let's find out. Alright, I guess that's... <clears throat> Does that mean I can modify my engines now? I don't know what the requirements are for that. Huh. So engines... That would be for the, uh, like, thrust speeds and stuff. Okay. It says none. Grid resistors. Okay, I, that's... <clears throat> I don't have any of those, but, uh... I think Farseer needed the same thing. That's okay. I'm learning. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do have this. I have that. I have that. I don't have any of those. So, if I select this... You mean in this grade? This is the yellow one. So you have to do one, then two, then three, right? You have to do them in order. So this one, and do I pin the blueprint or anything, or do I generate the modification? 
and what's it's going to give me. Okay, so I click generate modification. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, should not do this. I've never done any engineering before. I'm confused. Yeah, it says experimental effect. Okay. But I can go ahead and do it though, right? It's not gonna, I mean, you can undo it later, can't I? Well, this is the FSD. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it just to see what happens. Do I keep doing it numerous times? Oh, I see that line that's going around. I keep doing it until the line goes all the way around. Is that an affirmative? I should do it. Keep keep doing this several times. have all of the uh, resources to do that or that or that you now I don't have the resources to uh, do that Since I can't do the mass manager, should I do the strip down? And I generate it again. Is that correct? sure if I should uh, generate this modification again. Or should I just say that's enough for now and uh, see what it did to my ship. Why? Well, I can only do it five more times. Unlock the next.
check out the new. Checking out the new. Well, that looks, I think that's given me about a light year of range so far. If I remember correctly, it was 28 uh, something. I'm looking at it. So my question is if I I should probably get some more materials before I, I do all this because I don't know what I'm doing. I'll do it one more time just to uh, see what that does. See if that made any difference in my jump range from the last time. Oh, oh it does. It does. It goes up about a light year each time. Oh hell. I got plenty of power, so. But that's all I have now, so let's see what it did. I wonder how much fuel that thing's gonna use. This is cool though. 32, that's that's definitely an improvement. <clears throat> Check out grade two that I can't do yet. <laughs> Look, I guess it opened it up. Hmm. Any typical disruptor? I don't even know where I got those. You know, I guess I just collect them when I'm scanning places or something. All right, well, I think that's all I'm going to get done here. This right now. I wonder far, how far I got to go to get back to my home port. Should be a couple less hops though this time. Right. Did you, uh, do the uh, community goal thing that just ended. 
I did. I got in the top 25, so I was happy with that. Supposed to get some kind of access to the engineered engine anyway. Jumps. I wonder how many it would have been before. I should not be having any cargo now. I'll make sure. Okay. Now if I get interdicted, I'll just submit most likely. Maybe not. Depends on my mood. Grade one engineered engine. And regrade module with two experimental effects. I have no idea what that means for sure. Let's get out of here. Try not, I'll try not to run into any mountains. I think I'm going to have to <clears throat> find the right website, like Commander's Toolbox or whatever it is, or something to all these other places that list these things. Oh, how do you get the free one? When are, are they going to? When do they make? How do they? How do you get it? I don't know. understand that but and I did that so I think and I got 24 million dollars and the global award whatever that is but I don't know where to go to get it Okay. I mean, 
You've either got to go somewhere to get it outfitted or do something. I don't know how they're going to work that. Chieftain sure needs something like that. It's got terrible, terrible <laughs> range. You know, I want to look at something on that plot that it did. I want to see if. I just wanted to know, I was trying to figure out my, if I was, if I needed to feel, but I've already filled so. Someone will, I'm sure. City and Anne, or, I can't even say it, I can't the guy's name that goes by. Or a possibly, Backyard astronomy guy. Or I'll just wait until one of the YouTubers gets it and then they'll stream about it. Is that the door beyond? What in the room? Would be a no. He likes to sleep in my lap while I'm streaming, and that makes or it's hard to game. You know how I said I, I was going to go to the bathroom? I guess I'll wait till I get docked. <laughs> you know, I should have really not done it in this ship. I should have put the free thing in this ship. And brought my anaconda or something and did a little bit on it. I don't know. So confusing. Safer? Got his mouth at the bottom of the door, Meowing. I don't know if you could hear him Meowing over all the other stuff. How long have you been playing? Well, I think the, uh... <clears throat> I think it holds a six, doesn't it? I guess you could put a five in there. I don't know how well that would work. I don't know. But I think the FSD is a class 6 or something in the Anaconda. I could be wrong though, because I've only had it a couple. Oh, on and off four or five years, but I've only had an Anaconda for a couple of weeks. So. I recognize that star's name. That's why. I'm surprised I actually had any of those materials to do this because I haven't really actively been trying to get materials, but I know I don't have enough to do the higher grade stuff, but still. 
an improvement. Supposed to work in the morning. I have to work from home, but still have to know what I'm doing. And there's my destination. I've had a better uh, FSD in my Python for that uh, community go thing. It was an eight jump between the uh, place where I was picking up the uh, Lavian and Brandy and dropping it off. It was very tedious. I watch uh, streamer save it and he gets like 50 light years in his ship. And I actually uh, was at the station the same time he was and I was trying to see if I can beat him to the other station and uh, Oh no, he only did it in like two jumps or three jumps. Yeah? People, you know, with their uh, anacondas and they had tremendous jump range. I think a, a fully outfitted anaconda, you know, properly outfitted, probably has some of the longest jump ranges of any ships. I don't know. Uh, I should check that. There were some places uh, that uh, were really far away. <clears throat> huge number of hops. I don't remember how many hops. When I was doing the Road to Riches exploration, a bigger FSD would have been really helpful. <laughs> There's a lot of hops there too, but that's an inherent in it because of that's what you're trying to do is get to a bunch of systems to scan. Got lucky it's on this side of the planet. 70, yeah. Hard to believe. It's nice. But can it carry much at that range? I mean, if you weigh it down with a few cargo racks or something, or fighter, or. Uh, Pretty much bare bones. Do you stream? stream but it's fun
almost everybody that uh, comes in knows more than I do and uh, they've been very helpful telling me things and helping me understand some things I had to buy I saw uh, the story about this game me <clears throat> I've only been playing it since around Christmas last Christmas and I got on Twitch for some reason I don't know what it was but I, I saw it saw this game so I started looking at uh, some of the people streaming and they were small time streamers not not the big ones but the small ones and uh, I just watched them play and I was like wow I like that game but my computer that I had at the time uh, I think it was a Linux based system because that's what I do at work is Linux but um, even if I put Windows on it, it just didn't have the, the fire the muscle you know the CPU power and GPU so I had to buy a new computer the new monitors, microphones, because I plan to stream once I saw other people doing it. And uh, I'm real happy with it. I'm real happy with the system and I'm real happy with the game. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun for me. I love flying games anyway. Mighty Jingles. I've never even heard of him. Does he stream on uh, Twitch? Or is it talking about on YouTube? Okay. I might have already seen him then. I don't know. <clears throat> I watch a lot of YouTube videos on uh, stuff. I see something here. got a 6A in it right now so if you got the engineered one <clears throat> sorry throat's getting a horse um, I guess you could put a class 5 in a fixed slot let's see why not you can put other stuff in other slots that are smaller as long as it has the power and stuff I plan on doing a little fighting in my anaconda, so I've got all these fall reinforcements and stuff. And, and I also <coughs> loaded it up for the uh, community gold with cargo, because I was like, I was going to go load up that branding, tons of it. <laughs> and uh, I can only get 48 at a time. And, but if you could have got more than 48, this would have been awesome. Okay. Trying to decide if I just want to call it a night or if I want to do something else because I'm actually starting to get a little bit tired. So I think I will go ahead and call it a night. I can't say how much I appreciate you coming in though. And uh, Clover Stang and this Lethal Darkness was in. A lot of streamers drop in and I think that's really cool. And some people get upset if other people like self-promote their stream or something. I don't have that problem. Someone wants to come in and say, hey, I'm a streamer. <laughs> That's fine because there's probably not much of an audience for them here. So, yeah. But I guess with you, when you follow me, I'm up to 41. So, need uh, nine more. Nine more. Be cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I really appreciate it. Uh, you see me on, feel free to give me a, a holler, a holler, and say hello. I usually stream earlier in the evening, though. I usually stream around seven to ten Central Time. I don't know what that would be where you're at. Well, good night to you. Take care. Thanks for coming in again.